everyone. Welcome to Scratch Coding Ninja. Hello guys, so today's video is going to be about the Flappy Bird game, which I've just named Flappy Parrot just like that. So, let me just give you a demonstration about what this game is about. So what this game is about is that you have a bird and you want to go through the pipes without touching them. And also your goal is to not touch the floor either, which I'm pretty sure is not just too hard, but yeah, still. And there you go, I touched it and it says game over. So I'll show you how to make it, and also never mind about the score thingy that it just showed. So, what you want to do is you want to just have your new scratch thing open, and then what you and then um, you make a new sprite. You can just delete um, scratch cat. Um, make paint a new sprite. And you want to click on text. You can, if you can see here on this top down menu thingy, you can search for a font you want to write on. In, in case of sans, sans serif is a bit too boring. So, and then you write whatever your game is. You can write Flappy Bird, but I'm going to write, a, like again, Flappy Parrot. Flappy Parrot. And. I can make it bigger if I want. Oh, and also, um, I just um, I just learned recently that this, that, um, in case if you want to center your sprite, you're gonna need this because centering your sprite is gonna be really important later on when you make more sprites. So, flappy parrot and another text box. Um, let's make a different color. Say blue, blue, click to start, and also we want to keep this aligned with this little dot you see here, very important, and uh, we just move this thing to zero, zero, mm, should be good. Mm. Yep, yeah, better. Alright, and we want to make this click start thing like a button. So we just um, put an ellipse uh, backward and a different color. What do you like? I will say I'll have a white, white button because I'm going to have a dark background. But you can do whatever you want, indeed. Start, and um, um, and if you want, we can just reshape it. Use the reshape tool. It's not the best button, but I tried at least, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it should be good. Alright, good. So, now what you want to do is you want to choose your backdrop. I'm, in this case, I'm just going to have star... Yes, yeah, stars. Flappy parrot. Click star. I don't know why I just chose stars, but yeah, that's what I felt. What you can do whatever you want. So uh, now what you want to do is you want to make your have your parrot or bird, indeed. So you can choose your own sprite, or you can paint your own one. Well, in this case, in Scratch, they have their own. They have a parrot inside. And yeah, and this is way too big, so we should make it probably 20 or something. Yeah, that's better. So, 
when green flags click um show we want this to show and when the sprite is clicked uh if you don't know what this means is just it just means like as soon as you click the sprite um yeah whatever code you underneath happens when the sprite is clicked uh yeah you wanna hide and broadcast a message broadcast start game and now like again we want this to hide when the green flag is clicked and when this receives start game this will show up and let's and we want this to be in a in a specific position so i'm gonna say hun negative hundred zero when i receive start game show or hot outside so flappy parrot click the start and now you have this bird though it i didn't give it any command so it's just staying there now you want to make a code for this bird where if we either click the mouse mouse thing the if we either click, use it click on the mouse or click the space bar it will it will um yeah get higher and also we want this to be sinking uh yeah falling down so um yeah we have this when i receive start game forever uh change y by um i don't know whatever you want i'm gonna say negative two so what's gonna happen is that the bird's gonna be falling down and now for the if statement if, if um wait what um if mal um we we want to use an operator for this or if the mouse is down like when the mouse buttons click or when the key space is pressed uh then we want this to change change y by 10 i think yeah i'll change y by 10 so now look or maybe uh, it's a bit too quick because it's a forever loop. So what we want to do again is we want to have wait, and then we want just this to happen once. So wait until not, and you just right click it and duplicate. Not key space key space pressed or mouse down whatever now what's happening is that it's, it's only lifting only once we could, i mean negative two ten it's just whatever you feel like all right now we have done now this is done we want to make the pillars that our flappy parrot is gonna Oh, and also one last thing we want to do is that we want to make this flap. This is optional, but I'm just I just want to do it just like that. When I receive start game forever next costume since it only has two costumes. Next costume and wait for mm, let's say 0 0.2 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so now we want to make the pillars that the flappy parrot's gonna fly through this time. Now we just click paint, and uh, I think in Flappy Bird you have green pillars. At least I am buying green. 
it's optional whether you want to have gradient or not, but in this case, I'm just having plain to make things simple. So, what you want to do is you want to draw rectangle. Perhaps make it a bit skinny. And uh, we want to make a one more little rectangle, which are like the pipe ends. Mm, that should be good. Uh, group. It's gonna be better. Control C, Control V. Now we wanna flip vertically. Now, as you can see, our first pipe is done. Now we can make another few costumes. You can decide however you want it to be. So I'm just gonna pause the recording and show you the, yeah. As you can see, um, I've created three costumes. They're one of them is going to be like centered, one of them is going to be higher, one of them is going to be, be lower. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like this. And there, yeah, yeah. So now, what we want to do is just we want to have the, do that scrolling technique. So, this. So, um, when I receive start game, uh, when I receive start game, what what I want this to do is it will. I want it to go to the right side. So first, we want to create a variable. It's gonna be X position, X pose, whatever you want. Um, so set X position to uh, to forty, since that's the very edge of the screen. And then, and then set the X position X. X position. Set, yeah, alright. Uh, and then we want this to forever be scrolling. Forever, um, change. X position by by um, let's say three, not thirty two, but three. And then set X, set X to X position again. Yeah, and as you can see, this is scrolling down. Oh, and the bird's just flapping here. And that's done good. But if we, if, and we want to have an if state, if, if else statement, where if the x position is negative 40, it's, we want it to go back to the starting point. So, if, um, X position is um, if X position is less than negative 240 X position then 
then set x position to 240 and then set x set x to again x position now as you can see this is scrolling yeah it's pretty good now we what we want to do is we want to have the costumes change because it's going to be a really easy flappy bird if there's only one costume so so what, what you want to do is want to go to looks switch costume to now you can just say pick random from one to whatever your last one was well i have three costumes so pick random from costume one to costume three now as you can see one of them is costume two i don't know whatever that was yeah and i also have to um duplicate that to here all right it's now um the yeah, now it's changing sprites randomly. So, um, now what we want to do is we want to also, we want to make sure that this hides at first. So on green side, click hide. Hide. And then show. Alright, so at first we don't see anything, and then you see this. Now, what we want to do is that we want to make sure that the bird stays at... When green flags click, go to as well. Go to... Now, uh... Go to X100, Y0. Now, yeah, now you sort of have Flappy Bird, except that I can fly through the poles. Oh, yeah, beside the poles. So that's so we want to make another code. When I receive start game, then forever, if Touching, if touching pillar, oh, yeah, uh, two, I have to name it, I have to name it pillar, and also here, start screen, if touching pillar, then, then we want to broadcast a message, again, uh, where's broadcast? Oh, yeah, it might be an event. Yeah, um, broadcast a new message. Game over. And then, when this receives game over, then hide. And we want to do this for the rest of the sprites. Um, and also pillar. Yes. When I treat when I receive game over then hide here. And we want to create another sprite which shows game over. So paint we wanna have a red text and step bad. Come on, uh, there you go. Another text. Pixel. Game over. Can put that in the center. And also, if you click Alt, 
And then you grow it and you can maintain its position while growing it. So that's some good stuff. Zero. Zero. And green flags quick. Hide. Hide when this receives game over show. Now, let's say I touch this. It not, everything disappears and it shows game over. So yeah, um, it's basically Flappy Bird and um I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and bye bye. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload my next video.